Welcome back to Robin's Kitchen. Hey y'all, so today I'm doing something different. Um, I know you saw the title, Butter Pecan Butt Cake, but let me tell you something, I've never made this before. And so what I'm doing today is I'm trying out a recipe. I get inspired from so many places. And so then I say to myself, what can I do to make this a Robin cake, right? And so today we're gonna try something out. I don't know how it's gonna come out. We're gonna do it together. What I usually do is when I get inspired, I write in my little books here. I have this book, I have this little one. I have books all over my place. When I get inspired, I just write things down. So today we're gonna try something out and we're gonna find out if it tastes good or not. If it tastes good, you can make this for your Thanksgiving table, for your holiday table, because pecans are gonna be on sale this month. So do what you do. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, I sprayed a bunt pan. This is like a regular size, eight by eight bunt pan with some Baker's Joy so that cake will come right on out. And so what this cake is gonna be, it's like a regular bun cake, but it's gonna have a butter pecan glaze. And so we're gonna try this out, y'all. Laura, I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> I have no clue, but we're gonna try it out. Right here, my dry ingredients. I have two and a half cups of sifted flour with four teaspoons of baking powder and one teaspoon of salt. Um, I have three large eggs, room temperature. Make sure all your stuff is room temperature. I, I'm using bougie butter today. We're gonna use a cup of unsalted butter. I'm using that good stuff today. This is what you use on the holidays. I have a cup of room temperature buttermilk. I have a cup of sugar, granulated sugar here. We're gonna use vanilla extract and we're going to use rum extract. If you have dark rum, use that instead of the rum extract so what we usually do when we make a cake we usually cream our butter and sugar so basically i'm going to put this nice beautiful beautiful butter in my uh mixer here i'm going to cream it with the sugar for about five to seven minutes um also we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees so we're gonna preheat it. And if you want to, you can toast your pecans. I'm lazy today, I ain't gonna do it, but that's what you can do. We're gonna put our butter in here. All that butter, oh my gosh. Oh, we don't wanna skimp out on our butter. Look, we need all the butter, all the fat. And we're gonna use our sugar. And we're going to, like I said, lock this down. If you don't have a stand mixer, that's fine. You can use a hand mixer. We're going to mix this for about five minutes, five to seven minutes on medium, right? We're going to start off slow and then we're just going to let this mix, like I said, for about five to seven minutes. It's going to be nice and creamy and, and double in size. And then we're going to add our eggs, our extracts, our flowers, our buttermilk. So in five minutes, I'll be right back. Hey, y'all. So our uh sugar and butter have been mixed in for about five minutes look how light and fluffy that is now i'm gonna add my extracts to this i'm gonna add i have one tablespoon of vanilla extract and i have two teaspoons of rum extract but if you have dark rum use that um so i'm just gonna add this slowly to my mixture oh shoot no, I don't want to waste none. Uh-oh. See, look. I got stuff everywhere. <laughs> We're going to mix that. I'm going to scrape the sides of my bowl. Make sure all that gets incorporated. Ooh. See, look. This ain't pretty. <laughs> We're going to make sure that mixes. And then we're going to slowly add our eggs. Let's add our eggs one at a time. And these are three large eggs. And I love baking during the holiday season. Like I said, everything's on sale. So, okay, this is what we're doing. All right, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. Add another egg. You know what I need to get, y'all? I need to get a clear mixing bowl so y'all can see what's going on in here, you know? And then one more egg. Three eggs. We're 
gonna let that mix up. I'm gonna shut this off real quick. Scrape the sides. Make sure everything is well incorporated. Woo! We're gonna make sure it's well incorporated in here. All right, scrape the sides. And then we're gonna alternate. We're gonna add our flour mixture and our milk mixture. We're gonna alternate. So I'm gonna do about a cup, maybe, of my flour mixture, slowly. Slowly incorporate it. Because you don't want this to spill out everywhere. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of my buttermilk. This is buttermilk. This is low fat. I couldn't find the full fat stuff, but hey, we got some fat and butter in here, so alternate flour, alternate, add your buttermilk. I told my dad, I'm gonna I'm gonna film this week, Daddy. So I'm dedicating this episode to my dad, Robert Earl. He is my number one, him and my mom are my number one supporters, and I love it, even when I want to give up. They're like, no, keep going, keep going. So this is for you, Daddy. <laughs> All right, another another little scoop of flour. I'm gonna add some more of my rich buttermilk. This is gonna be a rich, nice cake. Yes, a little bit more flour. Now I can. Okay. And then some more buttermilk. And we'll the buttermilk here. And then the flour. And then I'm gonna do like the last few strokes I'm gonna do by hand because I don't like to over mix my cake because you don't want a tough cake, right? We don't want nothing tough. We want something nice and moist. So, all right, turn this off. All right, get all this to go. Scrape the sides of a bowl. My dad, if he was here, <laughs> he would, I would give this to him because he loves sweets. So I'd be like, Dad, you want this cake batter here? And he'd be like, yep. <laughs> so, um, you know, we don't want to waste no batter, no batter. And like I said before, we preheated our oven to uh, 350 degrees. Let me wipe down my counter. Like, like I said, we doing this live, baby. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna take this off of here. We're just gonna mix. Look at this batter. It is beautiful. We're just gonna mix this a couple of good times, making sure all the flour, the milk, everything is in. Oh my God. Y'all, I smell the rum. I, I smell the buttermilk. I'm like, oh, Robin. If this comes out good, whoo, it's gonna be hitting. <laughs> so this is all mixed up. We're gonna, we have our greased up pan. Usually I just use a large ice cream scoop to make sure everything, you know, is in here evenly. You know, something quick. All right. Get this all done. See, look, you're gonna get, be in and out of here. <laughs> and I'm gonna bake this about th 30 minutes. But you know, my oven is ghetto fabulous. <laughs> so it might cook too. We don't know, it might cook even faster. But um, the rule of thumb is you want a few crumbs on your toothpick. You know how you do the toothpick test and they tell you, oh, if it comes out clean, no, that means it's over. It's dry. It's going to be a dry cake. So you want a few crumbs on your toothpick when you check. Um, just to make sure, you know, everything is in there and it's still moist. I don't want to waste none of this batter, baby. Ooh, oh, this smells so good, you guys. It does. I'm not even going front. It smells amazing. Ooh. Okay, I want to even this out. I want to even it out because you don't want a cake that is like lopsided or um, not even. You want it to bake evenly. Yeah, bake this. 
Look at how beautiful this is, you guys. Look how beautiful. So we're gonna put this in the oven for 30 minutes, and then um, we're gonna make our pecan sauce that's gonna go on top. So we're gonna bake this real quick, and then we're gonna go from there. And I'll see you in 30 minutes. Toodles. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I don't know if you hear the dogs in the background. My neighbor has a lot of dogs. So we're gonna work with what we got. What we're gonna do now while the cake is baking, we're gonna make our glaze. You see these pecans? I, I have some pecan chips in here and I'm chopped pecans. I have everything in here. So it's about a cup and a quarter. The more pecans, the better, but this is what I got. So I have my saucepan here. So we're gonna make a glaze for it. We're gonna use one cup of dark, well, brown sugar. If you have dark brown sugar, that's preferred, but this is what I had, regular brown sugar. I have a half a cup of milk here, but what I'm gonna add to my milk is a little bit of vanilla, just a little bit. And then we're gonna add some rum extract to the milk as well. Ooh, child, it's about to be fire. So some rum extract to this milk. Ooh, you see the reaction, right? We're gonna add this, this milk to this mixture. And now, ooh, look at all that. I have a half a cup of maple syrup, use the real stuff, or like organic maple syrup. If you don't have maple syrup, you can use dark corn syrup, you know, the caro syrup, but maple syrup is the best because you're good, you're not gonna get that maple flavor. So dark maple syrup, this is something you make for the holidays. So this is when you splurge, dark maple syrup. All right, so, and it's organic. I'm gonna put a half a cup in here, get all that goodness in here. And what's gonna happen is, we're gonna bring this mixture to a boil, and then we're gonna simmer it um, for about 10 minutes, and we're gonna add our pecans then, and we're gonna let it cool before we put it on our cake. So I'm just gonna stir this real quick. And let me add a pinch of salt in here. Like I said, we're gonna bring this to a boil, and then to a simmer, and it's gonna reduce by half. All right, so let me add a pinch of salt in here, just a pinch. Yes, so a pinch of salt. Let's bring this to a boil, then a simmer. All right. As you can see, the mixture is slowly coming to a boil. So now we're gonna reduce it to a simmer. So now it's on boil. Let's bring it to a simmer. We're gonna let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Then we're gonna add our pecans. Okay. All right, you guys, I made an executive decision when making my pecan drizzle. I added four tablespoons of butter um, about three minutes before um, I turned the fire off. And then about a minute before I turned the fire off, I added the pecans. So I added four tablespoons of butter. I don't know how this is gonna taste, but I wanted more of a buttery feel. So we're, I let this set for a minute. This cake came out beautifully. We're just gonna drizzle this on top of the cake. It's like a sauce, right? And then we're gonna have the pecans just Oh my gosh, drizzling. It's gonna soak up in this cake. Look at these pecans. Just, oh my gosh. Woo wee. It's soaking up in this cake. And then in the middle is a whole bunch of pecans. So it's soaking up all this goodness. We're gonna let it soak up. I'm gonna, you know, come in the bottom here and get some of this pecan goodness. We're gonna let it soak for a minute and then we're gonna try a piece, but you know how to take a picture. So we're gonna let this soak up all this goodness. I'm gonna arrange some of these pecans and we're gonna have a ball. So see you in a second. Look how dark and decadent this cake looks. So I'm gonna try it and we're gonna see. Let's see. Woo. All right, oh my gosh, it's so moist. It's very moist. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mm. 
This is delicious. And for me to make this, this is the first time making this. Oh my goodness. Just the cake by itself without the butter pecan is amazing. It's moist. It's, oh my gosh. Whoa. And then that butter pecan syrup just seeped through the cake. Mm, mm, mm. I'm definitely making this for Thanksgiving. I cannot wait. And until next time, don't be afraid to take a risk. Love you. Hi, Daddy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.